Right. Right. Yes. Hello. Welcome to your training video for the Crazy Combat Laser Battle at Flamingo Land in Morton, North Yorkshire. Now, I've been giving you strict instructions on how to work your blaster. And... Hang on a minute. Sorry. Hello? Yeah, it's the captain here. One second, guys. What? What do you mean the training camp's abandoned? What happened? Oh. It hasn't been used. Well. New flat ride? Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadong, the Bomb, but built for Theme Park Factual Entertainment and welcome to a Theme Park News update. Now today is a bit of a discovery one, it's not really confirmed news, uh, but I thought I'd have a look at something. Now, Liam, who sent me the pictures of the Ten Looping Coaster a couple of days ago, that what's been happening on that site, uh, while it's been uh, still not worked on yet, uh, or resumed work, but he sent me some more pictures of the Crazy Combat Laser Battle Attraction. Now, that looks pretty abandoned. And I mentioned a couple of days ago in a previous Flamingoland video how that one looks very abandoned. And I think could be a future site for a new flat ride or some kind of new attraction. Um, and from the pictures, it looks very abandoned. So, I want to just give you the opportunity to share those pictures. Share the history of this attraction. And uh, as well as that share with you my thoughts because I've taken a Google Earth screenshot again and I've shared with you a few predictions as to what I think could go on that site. So before we get started make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Shout outs go to Single Rail Industries, Brian Galeas and Falco Flair. If you want to shout out our next video please get a comment down below. And for now guys let's get into this video and let's have a look at the history and the recent pictures of the Crazy Combat Laser Battle. Oh yeah. This first opened in 2007. Crazy Combat Laser Battle replaced the former Fort Flamingoland Adventure Play Area, and similar to other Laser Labyrinth style games, it sees guests battling it out with laser guns in an attempt to achieve the top score. It carries an upcharge and is not included with the price of park admission. Now, of course, with this reportedly opened in 2007, this means it'll have opened with the splosh area, uh, which was the surrounding area around the attraction. However, another source says it opened in 2011, so it's conflicted about exactly when this opened. However, um, whether it was 2007 or 2011, it is still an old attraction and it looks like it hasn't been used in years. So that is the history then of Crazy Combat Laser Battle. Like I said, this is one of those attractions where it's very conflicted about the opening year of the attraction. Obviously 2007 was on Theme Park Tourist, another source says 2011, uh, so I don't know what to think. I mean, theme, I think, to be honest, the more trusted source is Theme Park Tourist, so I'm going to go with 2007, uh, which means it'll have opened with the whole splosh area. Uh, and to be perfectly honest, I think the splosh area does need a, re a like an uplift or a re-theme or something. Uh, I've always thought it could do with like uh, integration into Dinostone Park. Uh, so maybe if they wanted to, uh, they could use the if they wanted to remove a new co uh, one of their coasters, they could remove Zoom uh, and the little planes ride, and maybe use that area and do like an entirely new splash battle or something. Uh, or they could just keep splash battle and just get rid of the the uh, the crazy combat and the little expansion of the splish splash water play area opposite the main splish splash area um and you know fill both those sites in next to each other uh, with a new attraction uh but what i've always thought if they were to keep the rest of the attractions is retheme splish splash retheme sp uh, splash battle retheme zoom and maybe get rid of the little planes ride or move it to another area of the park or relocate to somewhere else uh but retheme zoom definitely um, and, you know, retheme flip-flop as well, because that's in the area. So, you know, there's a lot of things that could be rethemed along with the removal of this. And if you integrated it with Dinerstone Park, you've got a pretty nice third entrance into the area from the opposite side of the railroad. And you could do some nice theming items with this. So, you know, what I've done is I've taken a Google Earth screenshot, and I've decided to give you three predictions as to what I could see realistically with this site. 
So let's start this. Let's get ourselves started then. So let's put the Google Earth image on your screen right now. Fan Dabby Dozy. Now, as you can already see, you can see two flat rides and a sign for Berry Bish Bash. Now, I'm going to explain all of that um, in more detail. Uh, now, Berry Bish, let's start with Berry Bish Bash. So, Berry Bish Bash, if you didn't know already, it's now known as Justin's House Pyromatic Factory. It is man man manufactured by Prime Industries, Prime Experiences, something like that. And it's a soft play area. It's basically a soft play area where you have a massive theming structure in the middle. And you've got other climbing equipment for kids. And you've got these like little uh, foam ball cannons. And, you know, I think the big sculpture in the middle can sometimes produce something as well. And, you know, they've got this whole soft play area. And it's a lot of fun for the kids. Maybe I could see something like that. And it's a bit of a... A bit of a nod to the past, really, with the with the the Flamingo Land, the Fort Flamingo play area, and that was removed for this laser combat thing. So, um, I would like to see something like uh, a Berry Bish Bash or a Justin's House Pyromatic Factory type, um, you know, play area, soft play area, uh, in this site. Now, if they wanted to tear the whole thing down. Uh, then they could build a new building for it. However, they could also refurbish the old building into the soft play area and make it fully indoor. So you could replace some of the walls with new material to make it look like a fully indoor building. And, you know, I do feel like there's potential for that. Now, looking at the other two examples and predictions that I've got, they could come together, they could come in separately as one attraction or two. However... I, pre I also predict two Zamperla flat rides, a Zamperla Endeavour and a Zamperla Nebulas. Now, you might think I'm absolutely crazy, but Zamperla is not a manufacturer that's unbeknownst to Flamingoland. They've worked with them a lot. They've worked with them on Hero, Twistosaurus, um, you know, the, uh, the, um, the, Magic, uh, the Magic Bikes attraction down Stone Park, the, um, the Rotosaur, as it is. Um... And I think that, you know, Zamperla have worked with Flamingland on a lot of stuff. And I think that the Endeavour and the Nebulas are two family thrill and thrill rides, respectively, that would be great fits for the park. Now, of course, it would reinvigorate the flat ride lineup because we haven't seen a flat ride, a new flat ride at Flamingland since 2013, which is the Dinastone Park stuff. And we haven't seen a brand new. Uh, anything to anything to do with thrill rides since the removal of Skyrider to Pleasure Island for a year before that park closed as Volta, and of course that's now operating, you know, over in I think Iran. I think it's operating now somewhere in Iran. Uh, so I think that you know it'd be great to see a brand new flat ride at the park, and I think that a Nebula is a good thrill ride to go for. The Endeavour, you know, Tato Park in Ireland's got one, so I think that would work at somewhere like Flamingo, and especially if you integrate a Dinastone Park into this splosh area and get rid of the whole splosh theme. I think you could re-theme the splosh battle into the dinosaurs. I think you could have these dinosaur themes with the nebulas. Maybe give it a, uh, not a pterodactyl thing, because you've already got a pterodactyl flat ride. Um, but maybe another flying dinosaur or some kind of um, different dinosaur um, and give that theme to the Endeavour flat ride. And I think with the, the nebulas, you could give it uh, an ankylosaur Theme and maybe the the seats represent the little club tail thing at the back of the ankylosaur, uh, which would be a very nice touch for Flamingo and a very nice clever theme to go for. And um, yeah, this site is pretty big. They could probably do both flat rides if they wanted to, uh, because don't forget we're not just talking about the crazy combat laser battle site here. We're talking about the little bit next to it, which is uh, a little bit more of the splish splash area, which is opposite. The um, the other splash, the main splash boss area, which I think will probably be rethemed to a um, a dinosaur themed water play area anyway, and get refurbished if you know Dinostone was to come into this area. But I think if Dinostone area wasn't going to come in this area, this was going to be like a brand new area. I think that you'd still take inspiration with the Zamperla Endeavour and the Zamperla Nebulas and. Or maybe they go with the Berry Bish Bash style soft play area um, attraction experience. Uh, so there's a lot of potential here with this potential site. So there we go. So that's looking at my three predictions for this site. Now, to be fair, before I saw the massive like power line structure uh, near where Skyflyer once stood, um, I was going to suggest if you rip out the, spl uh, the splish, uh, splash battle and zoom 
and the flying ride and the dino roller after the recent accident with the worker I think you could have a small family coaster running around there as like a long layout uh, but you know you could try and work it in between the pipelines I mean when I first thought about it insanely I think my first thought was some kind of Zamperla family coaster or a um, gravity group woody uh, but that will not work definitely that will not work so we're not expecting a coaster or anything on this site I think at best it'll either be a brand new indoor attraction like one of the soft play areas or it could be completely torn down and used for flat ride areas so I think that the this is going to be an interesting debate and you know I spoke about it in the past couple of videos on Flamingo with the inversion coaster I think Flamingoland's future potential sites for investment are very very bright you look at mischief mansion rumors of a peter rabbit dark ride refurbishment going in around there in the near future uh, obviously now this site is pretty much abandoned or looking abandoned from the recent pictures so you know there's potential here with some new attractions or a new attraction on this site uh, obviously a cliffhanger is going to go to the, the scarborough site uh, if that's going to still go ahead as planned then uh, you know cliffhanger will get removed and you'll probably need a new drop tower uh, in that site as well uh, so there's a lot of things they could do, and there's a lot of things they could do. Hero, I want to see replaced at some point because it's terrible. But you know, it's not been the success they wanted. But because it's still a new coast, technically, uh, because it's still set around seven years old now. So you know, it's still practically technically new to them. So I think they probably want to keep it for a few years more yet, uh, and then remove it when they can. Uh, but I really don't want to see Hero at the park for much longer. I think they could do so much better with that site. A Skyrocket 2, a free spin, the first SNS free spin coaster in the UK, 40 free spin in the UK. So that would be a nice site for that. Uh, so there's a lot of potential here with Flamingoland. So I think they could do some really cool stuff here. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video video on Flamingoland's Crazy Combat Laser Battle Attraction. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome week.